Hello everyone, Achavino over here and kind of a different video than usual because I'm uh, quitting the leak because of course uh, tomorrow it's Path of Exile and I'm going to kind of um, explain my experiences with this cycle I didn't do that on the last one because it was not really important, it's the first one I enjoyed it a lot, I played it a lot, I did the, um, the Lesser Mage guy with the two shards thingies we one shot Jura. One shot in Jura was also my goal this leak, but there were very different things that made it super hard. One of those, of course, it's Merchants Guild uh, problems. And um, I think if you have played since the first days of the cycle and then until now, you will notice that the player base has dwindled a lot. What does that mean? That means that items that I may need, even if I ha do have the resources, I um, between things that I've sold and things like that, I've amassed more like 4 billion gold in total. Of course, I've been buying things and etc. etc. But if, for example, I want to buy these are the boots that I want to have, I have two available one for 200 million and one for 500 million. And the sad thing is that the way the legendary potential things work you have an item with four mods and most of the cool things that i want um getting more than two legendary potential is very very hard even my main weapon uh, the black lead of chaos of course i haven't had any luck on getting good mods what do i mean good mods it here seven things so basically, every time I try to get a um, good combo, like this one was melee damage and lining, this was was lining and also void, etc, etc. Every time I've missed. Same thing with my chests, my titan hearts. Every time I didn't get dexterity, I'm less than rage. Things happen. I had like um, 20 jewelry rings, some of them 2 LP, one of them, some of them 1 LP. I did manage to hit dexterity, but these were of course here six dexterities because here one dexterity is super pricey. And also my Usunuis, I was kind of lucky that I got it at the beginning of the league because now there are almost zero, and by zero I mean there are like five items with um, the mod that we want. Of course, there are many reasons about that, it's also because it's not a mod that people really, really try to get into guides or things like that. There's only kind of like mine where you want this mod at tier 7, of course, if possible. As you can see, we have right now some of them and the cheapest is 120 million. Of course, a normal person can't that and also uh, this but even if I'm quitting the league and I'm let's say a bit sad because every time I tried to get my items I didn't hit them also the um, getting the items themselves it's really hard I had to pay 400 or 200 million for shattered chains to get uh, two LPs you could say of course you can do all the content in one LP then that is also one of the goals of Merchant Guild to have available to this strong 2 LP or higher items but that's not the case if you are unlucky because the merchant the market literally dries up like one person like me dried up the market of the, the good blood blades of chaos of course there are a lot that have shit rolls and of steamed fates titan hearts there are many titan hearts those are still there and also decent swords to get the, um, the slam like I do have some here with tier 7 lining and one that I dropped uh, here, this one I dropped and these two I bought that I wanted to slam and the lesser mirage thing the good thing is that we don't need the tier 7 the tier 6 is okay so you can get that and dexterity but I never hit I can't the only item that I hit is this one I have 4 LP, of course you hit, and this one, kind of lucky. 
course the idols every single idol that is decent it's like millions and millions so let's say that it was kind of a catastrophe and also as you know as a lot of players stop playing the pricey items get more pricier and the normal items just become fodder because a lot of people are just listing items and they are not selling and they just stay there so the, those people can't get money to get the other items and that just continues being there i also could not get a super good head i have this random head with two resistances of course i would want life and other things but they are just not there good one with dexterity also costs like 300 million don't have that much money now let's stop dooming and the good things they are actually iterating let's say quite fast um, they have done as you know across the cycle they have done a lot of bug fixes they have six a lot of crashes some people are still clashing in dungeons but that's a hardware thing that they of course have to pin and then uh, salt is slightly something to do with complicated things that they have to research and actually like take a lot of time into many many crashes and bugs have been fixed from of course 1.0 and now 1.1 and the just today it's good that i waited a little bit to do this i was planning actually on quitting yesterday when i missed all of my slams i spent almost 1 billion gold to get nothing in return so I was a bit um, sad, but there are some good news. Let's show this here. You can see they have nerfed a lot of dot thingies, like the poison nemesis. Now you get a um, death lock where you actually can see what killed you and how by how much it killed you. If it was a crit. And of course, this is very, very welcome. Um, I would love it a lot on Path of Exile. Maybe one day they put it. And the corruption gacha. That what this was one of the most annoying things to do. I even did a video on how to get the Hard Ringer questline done. Now it's going to be super fast. You are just going to use your Gliss of Envy in your main uh, timeline. Get your four types of Orbis. Bam, 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 get to 300 corruption. Of course, get to 310 or 20. And then it's 95% of catch up. And there's um, an always spawn after doing one echo. If you have this uh, at least 40 timeline corruption difference between those, your highest and the one you are in, that means that you will be able to. Um, spawn an instant Orbis. Do that one. Use Glyphs of Envy. And then do the Harbinger. And do that every single other time. You don't even need to use the, um, the needle. That is, like, say, now it's more relegated to alts. That, of course, will be very useful for alts. And also, of course, it will help you in your main timeline. Now you can use them in there. Get your four gazes in one tap instead of others as you run out of cliffs and buy. And a huge deal of mods use deal less. Less poison damage, less frostbite damage, less um, damage. There is also another thing. that There are some things that are still very dangerous, like pools or other places but they will get to it and then they also have um plans to buff uh a lot of skills that had let's say when they did some bug fixes because they were doing more damage than intended now of course this is a thing that will come in the future in the 1.1.4 like next week they will of course of earthquake etc etc in my case um, they just fix the typo on something blows and nothing more but if you play any of these abilities you will be happy 
that means that they are doing a lot of things and they are trying to improve the game as much as possible and that is very welcome i look forward to play in the next cycle of course after uh, poe league and wow and other things there will always be time for some last epoch so that is everything no need to super doom or to say i quit or, or whatever the gold exploit was sad it is what it is they will learn and they will improve and at least this was a self-contained problem in the next cycle this will not happen respect and we also have that cool roadmap where you remember that there are a lot of interesting things to look forward have a nice day and i will see you on the next video